this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually it's going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe, okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet, the men of the Lord, the men of this truth, the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the highest value male there is. It's the book Ecclesiastes 2 verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. First and foremost, I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekankadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well. Right? Shalom to the hopeful like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. Shalom to those few sisters, the aqua, that's getting the orange out these last days. All right, I come at you with a quick, you know, Lord willing, uplifting, edifying video. You know, <clears throat> first and foremost to the to the brothers, you know, because hey, we are, we have the most valuable job. You know, we we hey, we go out and push the works for Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, and we have treasure stored up for us, man. Right, but in in in. Right now, we're in the mix of a battle. You know, we see the finish line, right? And we got to keep the faith that hey, the Lord has a lot for us, man. We're not Our work is not inside vain. You know, we have riches waiting upon us, right? But we got to keep the faith. You know, keep the faith and keep going through the trials and tribulations, man. Keep counting the cost. Understanding, we are, understanding what we are involved in. Understanding the Lord had chosen us out of this world to do the works that nobody can do, you know. But it says, for gold is tried in the fire, right? So we're going to go through the trials and tribulations. But, hey, that's a part of your testimony, man, right? Like I said in plenty of my videos, you know, no test equals no testimony. You know, we finna, hey, here we have it, finna have our, we finna have our, our, um, no crowns upon our head, like Lord willing, we're part of that uh, that number, right? One hundred and forty-four thousand elect men. You know, our story gonna be told, talked about for, for forever. You know, but we just gotta keep in mind, you know, that hey, we gonna go through the trials and tribulations, right? That's how you, that's how you, that's how you uh, shine, right? He showed you, and he had that dog in him from the start, all the way to the finish. No matter what he no matter what he went through, he had his hell hell high. You know? So for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know, and I want to um like I said, the title of this video is gonna be, you know, trust the process. Right? Trust the process and trust your how by Shimmy I was shy. Right? And I want to grab that word inside the process inside the um the etymology. Right? It says fact of being carried on. As in, in process, right, from the old French process, a journey, continuation, development, a legal trial. And that's what we're on, man. We're on a legal trial, man. We develop into what? Get the riches, man. We're on, the, we're on trial to what? We're on, we're on the road to what? Get that, that crown, you know? And the video of the Elder Gobar, you know, just, it's, it's, it's real soothing, man. You know, because it gives you so, so much hope, you know, to keep going hard no matter what's inside your way. Right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna replay it one more time and grab another precept. All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually it's gonna pay off. You better believe it, man. It's gonna pay off like you never believe. Okay. All right. And it said it's gonna pay off like you never believe. Eventually it's gonna pay off. Right? That is like, you know, uh, uh how we was in the world. You know, we stand down for the come up, you know, we're trying to get that bag, right? We're gonna start off with getting crumbs right now. By eventually, the crumbs gonna turn to a whole loaf of bread, you know. So same, same in this truth. We came in not knowing little. We kept growing, you know. We kept going, you know, storing up riches for the for the kingdom, you know. We stone, hey, we we staying down for the come up, man. And any type of story that you see the person is consistently and diligently staying on his game, man. Hey, eventually he's gonna get his time to shine, man. Right. So we're not gonna we're not gonna look so good on this side, right? But wait till them chairs come beaming us up, man. Or we have to get, you know, put the death on this side first. And but the hey, the whole um on um, the uh, the elect shall rise first, right? Wait till we get on them chariots, man. You know, hey, the Lord said we gotta suffer on this side. Alright, but don't think that the Lord is not taking notes, man. That's a humble servant, man. 
he took he he taking all the jabs that that come against him, you know. Right. Um. <clears throat> from there. Matter of fact, I'll jump to a quick preset right quick. All right now, faith. Hebrews 11 and 1, Salakia. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's what makes us keep going because you got faith. Faith is what should be driving you, man. You know? You say eventually these things are going to pay off, man. And we can see it. We can damn near feel it. Smell it. We see everything's going up in the air, you know? You seeing folks fall out the truth, you know? And we see that, hey, we, we steady going harder and harder, man. We in the fourth quarter, you know? Like the scripture taking the, uh, in Corinthians, man, uh, 9. 1 Corinthians 9. You know, we striving for the match. We striving for incorruptible crown. You don't think the Lord sees that? While the world is chasing while the world is chasing after the world, we chasing after the, the kingdom, man. You know, yeah, how about Shemar Shadow make sure, hey, he going to make sure we scrape. Right? Instead of going left, right? While the world going left, we was going right. You know, we was seeking that path of righteousness, man. So that other thing that the Lord is not dealing with you, right? You out here doing what the average man cannot do. Right? So from there, I want to go back to the um <clears throat> to the book of Hebrews. So like I should have just stayed there. So like it's um Hebrews six and ten. Cause like he mentioned, you know, eventually these things are gonna pay off, man. Right? Eventually. Right, Hebrews six verse ten. I just yeah, kind of all of it go in, but I also want to hit straight to the point, the main part, the main part, right? Um, so like it's Hebrews six verse ten, for Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed toward His name. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Going out to the highways and the byways, man. Right? Getting mocked at, picked at, laughed at, draw down on. You know? Hell, a couple of, couple of, you know, hey, some brother had to get into a couple of fights, man. Just to defend themselves. You know? Putting your life on the line. Right? The book of Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, present that body as a living sacrifice. The average man ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and for that, hey, you how about you, man? I to make sure he, hey, here you go. You know? Here you go. <laughs> you right? It says, for you, how about you, man? I is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Man, staying up 3 o'clock in the morning, knowing you got to get up at 5, 30, 6 o'clock to go, go to the plantation. That's showing that you love the Lord. You want to keep seeking. Right? You want to add as much money inside your spiritual bank account as possible. Right? Man, I gotta go back to the video, man, because I could just I could watch this video all this twelve second video. I can watch it all day. Well, twenty one second, I think. By the way, we're the highest. Right. All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is gonna pay off. Matter of fact, hey, because every time I watch, I get I get more thoughts, man. Right? Hey, you going to get posters? You know, you you filling up your notepad? You know, we got your, your social media got nothing but edification on every, every everything you doing. It's about edification. You know, you showing your diligence towards the Lord, man. It's going to pay off. You know, you didn't lost your car, your wife, husband. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your kids. Your house. You know. Your job because you don't want to take the uh, the MOTB. Right. I can make sure he got something for you, man. Got to stay down for the come up, man. I, I, I truly believe, man. I pray the Lord keep me in that spirit, man. 144%, I believe, man. All right? Let me go to the book of um, Colossians. You know, because if you got weak faith now, your ass not going to make it, man. It's simple as that. So you got to be in that spirit that, hey, Lord, going to, hey, he going to, he going to, hey, like you say in the word, you going to cut that check. You know, he, this is going to be our big payoff, man. But you got to keep that faith, right? I feel, hey, I feel as if, you know, speaking as a man. Man, Lord, hey, he going to show out, man, we, which we all know. He going to show out. Crown going to be, man, you might go blind looking at that crown that he going to put on your head, man. You know? 
right? But it says, um, this Colossians 3, verse 1. If ye, if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, right? Where Yah Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh, right? And, and, and right now we have to <clears throat> go in the same Go in the same ways of Yahweh Shah. You know. Look, the scriptures tell you how Yahweh Shah is an example. You know. He had to go, he had to go, he had to do the works. You know? To get glorified. He had to stay down to get glorified. That's what we do. We stand down to get glorified, man. Matter of fact, if I go to verse two, I want to jump back up to Romans eight and um seventeen, I think. Right, seventeen and eighteen. It says, "And of children, then hairs of hairs of Hamashiach, I mean Yahweh, and joint hairs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we that we may be glor also glorified together." And it's proof right here. Yahweh shall getting glorified. Right, he coming back to the earth to do it on a worldwide scale. Right, but he's already on the right hand side being glorified, man. So how hey, how much more of us? It's like the last wickedest generation ever, man. You doing works inside the most wickedest generation ever. All right? It says verse 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right? All of these all these scriptures about you know staying down for the come up, man. Cuz it's going to happen. It's going to happen, man. The first shall be last and last shall be first. Right? And with us being you know going to be like a, a reverse uno card, right? It's going, you're going to know that's him. That was that man that stayed down. That was the man we made fun of. You know, the Lord going to really put you on a high pedal stool, man. Right? So it says, I reckon, for I reckon the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right, so going back to Colossians um, 3 and 2. All right, it says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. All right, and you know, me and my brother, we always talk about this one uh part in uh Hustle and Flow, you know what I'm saying? The movie, he be like, hey, skinny man, you know, one day all this thing gonna burn down to the ground, man, you know, and this would be that one part that we always trip out about, you know, because we know that the works that's done on this earth is going to be burnt up. Right, but the works that we show towards this ministry is gonna follow us, man. And I can't remember that preacher about the um off my head. Right, but our works shall follow us, man. You know, cause we do we put we're putting our 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 um how can I say it? We put in our um you know we deposit inside our spiritual bank account. It's like it. You know, so hey, when we get to the kingdom, it's gonna be all there. Our riches is gonna be right there, man. Right, verse two, set your affection on the things above, not on the things on the earth. Right, simple as that. I'll grab the word affection right quick. Matter of fact, um, you know, the Lord finna have us, man. He finna put us on a, a major scale, on, on a, a bigger major scale, man. Finna be back kings, man. Right. The word for affection is love, right? Feeling, you know, attentiveness, a care, right? So, kind, um, where was that? Matter of fact, like I said, I, I gotta go back to the video, man. I could just, man, here we go. And right now, hey, we're about to see. Cause right, he said we're the, we're the most high value men, right? And we're gonna get we're gonna see that on this side, right? He's not gonna wait to the kingdom, right? When Isaiah, um, so like Jeremiah thirty and seven pops off, right? The time of Jacob's trouble. When that pops off, you're about to see the true men of the Lord, right? Glowing, right? Go back some.
highest value male there is. All right, and the Lord finna make us that, man. Right, he's he finna put us up there, man. Lord willing, right. We just gotta hey stay into the game, man. Keep running this race. We know it's at the end. Every race you run, it's something at the end. It's something at the end, right? This is the book of um, Isaiah 32. And I'll start at um, verse 1. Let me go back to Matthew. Yeah, that's what it was, y'all. Isaiah 32, verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment, right? Hey, we're going to be up under your house, shy. 144,000 elect men. And guess what? We're going to. It's going to start on this side, man. In Jacob's trouble. Right? It says, And as a man. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. And they covered from the temple. That ain't really what I wanted. I wanted Isaiah 13. It's like it. But that's a pretty good scripture, too, though. Because, hey. In the time of all hell breaking loose. Shit. We're going to be looking like. um, Like it says. You know. Water inside the desert, man. That's real rare. Valuable too. All right, but Isaiah 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Not just any man. Right? The man that's out here putting the faith in Yahweh Shah doing the words, doing the works of Yahweh Bashim Shah sincerely. You know? And everything's ordained, but we don't know who's who, so we're gonna keep pushing. Cause Lord willing, we could be one of those men. You know, gotta have that faith. Right? It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man that than the golden wedge of Ophir, right? A rare, a rare type of gold, man. You know? These things will give you that 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 boost, you know? All right? It's, hey, he said, eventually these things are gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off, right? Going to go uh, you know, being being sleep at uh being sleepy at, uh, at at the plantation because you stayed up all night trying to write down three more pre-sales, do two more videos, you know, one video, you know, upload your videos, you know, edify somebody, you know, studying, right? That's going to pay off, right? The Lord say, hey, these works will not go unnoticed, man. All right, so I'm going to... Um I'm gonna end it off. Um, and Matt, no, I got gotta go to the um, kind. I gotta uh go to the, the uh the ceremony, man. Gotta bring that out, right? This is Matthew 19. Come, come. You know, I I do 28. You know, and I just jumped to verse 30, right? Because that's key, you know? It's going to pay off, right? Like I said, like the elder had said, so like it, you know, eventually what we are doing is going to pay off, man. And we're part of that remnant, man. What are we going to be doing? It says, verse 9, Matthew 19 and 28, And Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, right? In the gen regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That's a high. That's a high reward, man. The best reward. Don't get no better than that. You know? And we and we see it's coming down the pipeline, man. Right? Verse 30. I'm going to jump right there. It says, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And we're seeing it right now, man. The Lord is doing a mean switcheroo, right? Bringing, bringing brothers that, that's, that don't even, you know, people don't even give a, a day and chance to talk to, right? The Lord, bring these brothers up, putting the wisdom and understanding within them, man. You know? Building them up, right? Because the Lord, hey, the Lord finna do even more. He finna crown them brothers, man. Lord willing, I'm a part of that remnant. You know, but you gotta believe. You gotta believe. How about you? I was shot. Hey, man. He, hey, he, he gonna, he gonna look out, man. All right, and I'm gonna close it out with the book of Second Edges too. It's like my favorite book, man. You no, know, just, just um, how. You know, being crowned by Lord Yahweh Shah. 
All right, and I'm gonna close out with that. All right, with faith, it's the substance of things hoped for, you know, the evidence of things not seen. All right, and we believe we haven't seen it yet, but we believe it. So we're gonna keep going until we see it. All right. So I'm gonna just, I'm just um you no know, skim through this, you know. All right, let's start at verse um 42, second there's two verse 42. I edge saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord Yahweh shot with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns. Right? Hey, keep in mind Hebrews eleven to one. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right? It says, and more and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, They be that are it's like they be that have put off mortal clothing and put on immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, and now they are crowned and receive palms. Then I said to the angel, What young person is it that that crowned them and give them palm in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, right? Son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah, right? That was Yahweh Shah, right? The the, the the taller, the taller person, you know, putting those crowns upon men's head, right? It says, then the angel said unto me, go thy way, tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Right? And this is all a vision that's going to come to pass. This is prophecy, man. Right? But the thing is, like I said, well, going back to what the elder said, you know, these things, it's going to pay off. Your hard work's going to pay off. Being standing stiffly for the name is going to pay off. And what other payoff is better than getting crowned by Yahweh Shai, telling you my well done, my faithful servant. You know? And I'm going to end it off on a video. Like I said, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, uplifting. I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kadash. Hey, stay up, brothers, and keep enduring to the end.